Hello, my name is Joseph Lee. I graduated from Cal Berkeley in Applied Math and Physics. And I'm going to take the derivative of arctangent of x. So let y equals arctangent of x. So how do we take the derivative of arctangent of x respect to x? Well, the first thing you need to do is that you need to get rid of the arc. And exactly how do you take the arc? And basically, you take the tangent function, you tangent both sides of the function, which is tangent y on the left, and tangent of the arc tangent of x on the right. So, tangent of arc tangent of x is basically x, and we have tangent of y equals x. Then, how do we find dy dx? Okay, basically, you find dy with respect to dx by taking the derivative on both sides with respect to x on tangent of y and tangent of x. And when you do that, the derivative of tangent of y is secant square of y. But we're not done yet. Since this x variable and this y variable is different, we have to take the, the chain rule by taking the derivative inside of the secant square. And when we take the derivative inside of the secant square of y, we have dy multiplying to secant y through chain rule. And we know that the derivative of x respect to x is 1. So now we have dy dx equal cosine square of y. And the next step is how do we find cosine of y, cosine square of y in respect to x? Because we want the derivative of y, d, dy dx, to equal some value in x. So we need to convert cosine square of y into some variable that is similar, that is ex uh, using the variable with the, uh, using the variable x. So since I have no more board space, I have to erase this. We know dy dx is equal cosine square of y. So what is cosine y? Well, what is, we know that tangent of y is equal x. We know that tangent of y equals x from the previous problem. And basically y is the angle that expresses the value of x. So let's draw our right triangle method. We know this is the angle of theta. The theta equals y, y right here. And tangent of this y is basically the height divided by the base equals x. So let's say the base is 1, then we can see that the height is x. So what is the hypotenuse? Well, we tr apply a Pythagoras theorem, and we get 1 plus x squared. And then if we calculate cosine of y, we get 1 over square root 1 plus x squared. And the square of cosine of y right here. It's basically the square root, the square of this value, which is right here. And you square it, and you have 1 over x plus x squared, which is the final answer.